Welcome to Rough Riders, I'm Jay Taylor. In today's video, we're going to show you how to adjust the emergency brake or parking brake on the 2015 MDX. So in a series of videos, we've been going through the braking system of my wife's 2015 Acura MDX. We've replaced the pads and rotors, we've flushed the brake system. If you haven't seen those videos, I'd invite you to go back and take a look at those if you want to learn how to do that process. But in this video, we're going to be adjusting the emergency brake. So as you know, an emergency brake is there in the event of an emergency to help you stop the car, but it also serves as a parking brake so that when you're parked on an incline, it keeps the car in place. Uh, what we've been finding is that the car, even when we set the emergency brake, it starts to slip down the driveway, uh, and that just places a strain on the transmission, so I want to adjust the uh, parking brake. Now, we are not going to go through and inspect the parking brake on this video because uh, we did that when we did the rear uh, brakes and rotors. So in this video, we're just going to focus on adjusting that parking brake. So, But before we get started on that, let's take a look at the tools that are required to get this job done. Tools you'll need to complete this project, a jack and some jack stands, some tire chocks, a lug wrench or an air hammer with a 19 millimeter socket, and a straight edge screwdriver. First step is to get the wheels off. I've already got the car jacked up and safely on jack stands. I'm going to pull the wheels off, tuck those under the side just in case the car falls, just like I normally do every time I put the car up on jack stands. So you may or may not be aware of this but uh, some cars actually have multiple brake pads and shoe setups on their uh, rear wheels and that's because uh, while the main braking system here is a, a pad and disc system uh, there's also brake shoes here that's the emergency brake or parking brake and they're behind this rotor hat and just like a drum brake uh, there's shoes in there that when you set the parking brake they expand out and press against the hat of the rotor and that's what holds the car in place and so to adjust that uh, I've got to be able to get access to that and through that there's a little rubber uh, grommet a little plug right here that I need to pull out that will give me access to the adjustment star or, or uh, mechanism to set the to adjust the parking brake so let's do that now So some designs put it at the bottom. Uh, it looks like in this case they actually put it uh, the adjustment uh, screw at the top. So you can sort of see it in there and uh, we've got to uh, spin that star uh, to adjust the brakes. So let's, uh, let's get started on that. So what we're going to do is we're going to use a flat uh, bladed screwdriver <coughs> and we're going to um, get in here with the screwdriver and on those spines on those spikes we're going to uh, rotate it up and so we're just going to use like a little bit of a leverage here and it's not hard um, to get in there and you'll hear it click when I do it until the wheel stops moving so we're going to just keep checking uh, and this is by rotating up we're going to engage the braking system And so right there the wheel is locked so I cannot rotate it at all so it's engaged uh, so now we're going to just back it off uh, by eight clicks and to do the back it off we're going to go down One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
And so now the wheel has movement, uh, and so that should be adjusted. We're going to go uh, check, do the same thing on the other side. Okay, I just finished the other side, so now I'm going to put uh, the plug back in, put the wheels back on, and we'll put it on the driveway and see if, uh, see if they're adjusted correctly. Okay, we're going to try putting the car uh, in neutral and setting the emergency brake and see if it rolls. Okay, car's in neutral. And we're good. So this is one of the easier jobs to do. A simple uh, straight edge screwdriver is all you really need and some jack and some jack stands. And uh, you can do this job in about uh, 15 minutes or so. It's, it's a very, very simple job. So if you have any questions, uh, please post those below. I'll get to those as quickly as I can. If you've enjoyed this video, please uh, consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing. And we'll see you next time here on Rough Riders. Thanks for watching.